In this problem, we're going to solve the differential equation. This differential equation is called the Cauchy-Euler differential equation. The reason is the powers of x match the order of the derivative. The power of x matches the order of the derivative. And here you can think of it as being x to the 0 times y. So the power of x matches the order of the derivative. Recall that y is actually the 0th derivative. So we start all of these by letting y be equal to x to the m. The next step is to differentiate y and then plug it into the differential equation. So using the power rule, we bring the m down, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent, so we get m minus 1. Then we do it again, y double prime, so it'll be m minus 1 times m, and subtracting 1 we get x to the m minus 2. Now we're ready to plug everything into the differential equation. So we have x squared, and then y double prime is this piece here. So m minus 1, m, x to the m minus 2. Then we have 11x, so plus 11x, y prime, so that's this piece here. So m, x to the m minus 1. And lastly, we have 25y, so plus 25, and y was just x to the m. And this is all equal to 0. So again, step one, you start by calling it y, take the derivatives, plug it all in. Once you get to this step, it's always the same, okay? You always want to group together your x's, so watch this. x squared times x to the m minus 2. When you multiply these, you'll add the exponents. So m, m minus 2 plus 2 is just x to the m. So we have m minus 1 m x to the m. Here, same thing, it's x to the 1 times x to the m minus 1. So that's just going to give us x to the m when we add them. So it's plus 11m x to the m. And at the end, we have plus 25 and then x to the m. That's all equal to 0. Now we can factor out an x to the m. That leaves us with m minus 1 times m plus 11m plus 25. And that's all equal to 0, right? So we have m minus 1 times m plus 11m plus 25. In the next step, we can divide by x to the m. So when we do that, it goes away. So we have m times m, so m squared. m times negative 1 is negative m plus 11m plus 25. All of this is equal to 0. Let's combine like terms. m squared. Negative m plus 11m is 10m plus 25, and that's equal to 0. This actually factors nicely. This is uh, m plus 5, m plus 5. It's actually m plus 5 quantity squared equals 0. It's a perfect square trinomial. So we get m equals negative 5, and the multiplicity is 2. So we have a repeated real root. So Whenever you have a Cauchy-Euler differential equation and you have a repeated real root, the answer is c1 x to the m plus c2 x to the m ln x. So in this case, m is negative 5, and we just plug everything in and we're good. So y is equal to c1 x to the negative 5 plus c2 x to the negative 5 ln x. And that is the final answer. I hope that made sense.